Welcome back to Eyes Open News Report, okay? Which is Eyes Open Media, okay? Um, so yeah, yeah. What an interesting day. Um, the the stock markets are continuing to flip flop up and down, triple digits one day, one day up triple digits, one day down triple digits. Uh, oil looks like it's trying to find this balance. It's trying to break out of thirty three, but it can't right now. And gold is also trending, uh, going up big and coming back down and all types of mess, man. This whole thing is a mess. Um, and we're also going to check out a stock. Um, if you haven't checked out Currency 365, the last video I did was three stocks. Um, you should check that out. Um, what was those? Uh, Citigroup, Apple Inc., and Vet. Vectors uh, gold mine. Okay, so that's the last. That's the last buy and sell. That's the last video I did on that channel today, and it's buy and sell. Okay, and we'll do one here, and we'll do PayPal today. Okay, um, okay. So let's talk about the markets here, and then we'll go into um, the world markets, and then PayPal. Uh, buy or sell for PayPal, and then we'll look around the world to see if there's anything interesting going on. All right. Um, so the Dow Jones was, uh, oh, first of all, we got to pray for, <laughs> excuse me, Lord, uh, Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day. Thank you for completion. Lord, we had some ups and downs today, lots of good news, some bad news. And we thank you, Lord, just to keeping us in there, Lord. Thank you for protecting us and guiding us and healing us and watching over us. Thank you for eyes open media. Thank you for our subscribers. Thank you for those that are going to continue to subscribe on the channel. And thank you for those that are going to bring other people to subscribe on the channel lord uh thank you for all that you do all that you are lord and and then hopefully lord once uh we we get some financial uh relief um we'll be able to start talking more about things that are going on in the world and things that are happening uh and um just be able to relax and enjoy life and thank you lord Forgive us for our sins and wash us clean and also just uh, guide us and protect us and heal us. Uh, bless us financially. Open our, 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 you know, open the windows of heaven for us financially. Uh, bless us and let us be able to pay all our bills off and, our, and be able to be debt free in the, in the name of Yeshua. Thank you, Father, for all the things that you're doing. Thank you for uh, keeping our marriages strong. Thank you for those that are single. Uh, we, we stay single uh, until we find the one where yeah, you pick for us, Lord, and we thank you for that. And we thank you for all the things that are happening in our lives. Uh, continue to protect us and guide us through 2016. Watch over our, our, our lives. Watch over our families and friends. And reconnect us with those people that you want us to be reconnected to. And bring those people that you that you uh, deem to bless us into our lives, oh Lord. In the name of Yeshua, in the name of the Holy Spirit, I pray. Thank you, Father, for all that you do. Thank you, uh, Christ, for all that you do. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for all that you do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I pray in the name of Yeshua, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Father. Shalom, shalom, shalom. All right? And I cover this prayer in the blood of Yeshua and the power of the Ruach Kaddish, Holy Spirit. Shalom. Okay, so let's look at the Dow Jones. And um, then we look at the world news. And then we'll look at PayPal, buy and sell. Okay, so Dow Jones here, um, it closed at 15,944.46. Uh, it was down to negative 222 points, points, uh, point seven, seven. And this is here that's negative 1.4%. Okay. Um, NASDAQ, uh, let's see here. At, matter of fact, going back to the Dow Jones, remember I told you about 16,000 and that's where it's doing. It's, it's closing below it. It's closing above it. So 16,000 is where it looks like it wants to settle at. And then once it's then, then we'll see where it goes, if it goes down or up from there. Okay. Um, NASDAQ, uh, let's see here, closed at 4,468.167, which is negative 99.506. Um, let's see here, uh, it says negative 2.18%. Okay, oil prices, um, once again, tried to test 33 and it couldn't break it. Okay, once it breaks 33, you're going to see it go to 40. Okay, so 33 is the resistance on the oil price. All right, so it's at 31.83, and it was down negative 0.33, neg and uh, that which is uh, negative 1.03%, okay? Uh, gold prices here, um, nice little late surge, but then it couldn't hang on to it. Uh, closed at 1,123.6, uh, negative, which is negative uh, 2.1, or which is negative 0.19%. The euro was up on a dollar and is at 1.09033. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so some of the hottest uh, penny, it looks like these are penny stocks. Uh, it's, it looks, no, some of the top uh, active penny stocks is LTNC, which is Labor Smart Inc., iTalk Inc., which is uh, T A L K, and SPY, um, technolo- uh, Technical uh, Analysis, which is uh, S P Y, um, CD International Enterprises and Corporations, which is C D I I. Okay, so those are some of the uh, active, active uh, top ten active uh, penny stocks. Um, those are ones that are you know below. Usually, most of them are probably below f- uh, five cents. Um, just to give you something to look at different from there. Um, okay, so let's look at the world markets. Asian stocks. Um, the Shang- the Shanghai Composite was down negative uh, zero point five two percent. Uh, Hang Seng was up point uh one point zero one percent, and Nikkei was down minus one point two zero percent. Um, Europe. Let's see here. Europe was all up today. The FTSE 100 was up uh, 1.32%. DAX was up uh, 0.59%. And CAC 40 was up 0.54%. Okay. So let's look at um, North uh, North and South America. The S&P 500 was down negative 1.09%. The Mexican Bozo was up uh, plus 0.42%. And Brazil was um, up plus 2.34%. Okay, Canada was up 0.45%. And Chile was up 0.15%. Okay, so let's see. So let's go to PayPal. So we're going to do buy and sell, which is for PayPal. I think buy and sell is going to start to grow on people. I think right now it's something new for a lot of people because, you know, most of the times we talk, you know, especially on the main channel, we just talk about the dinar. Which, so, so what I did was uh, be instead of doing four videos or five videos, I just put all three uh, into one, okay? And usually I'm, I will try to do five um, stocks into one, okay? I'll make it about 50 minutes long. It'll be my last video of the day unless there's breaking Iraqi news, okay? And then, and, then I'm, and I'm talking about the main channel, not this channel, okay? And uh, and on this channel, of course, we put it inside of the eye, the, the you know, Eyes Open News report, okay? Um, so we're doing PayPal's. And uh, symbol is pay, uh, PYPL, PYPL. Let me change this up right here. P Y P L. And let me update it. Okay. All right. So uh, PayPal uh, Holdings uh, Inc. is uh, on the NASDAQ. And let's see, it opened at 31.96. The high was 32.63. The low was 31.38. Uh, the close was 31.59. Uh, the volume was 12.7 million um let's see the change was negative 0.38 which is negative 1.9 uh 19 percent okay negative 1.19 percent all right so let's look at the rsi and the rest of the chart so the rest of the so the rsi is that um the rsi 14 is at 36.49 which is below 50 which is not good uh and it's also looks like it's um going downwards downward trend on that for some reason okay um let's see here the 50-day moving average is at 34.65 which is resistance because it is above the uh, the close of 31.59 okay uh and the 200 moving day average is unidentified on the chart for the daily charts okay um, it'll probably be on the weekly but it's not on the daily so let's look at on um, the MACD. The MACD is uh, headed towards zero, which is good, um, and it's at the blue bars are at negative zero point zero nine zero, and the black and red lines are at the bottom, and they are but they're still they're starting to curl up here, um, and the black line is at negative one point zero three two, and the red line is at negative zero point nine four two. Let's add the parabolic SAR and see where we got. Okay, so we added the SAR, and the SAR is at 30.52, okay, which is actually a buy. So the SAR is at a buy. It got there today, it looks like. But on let's look at the weekly and see when it actually got there. But it says it's a buy on the SAR. Okay, so now let's go over to the weekly charts and see if we see any trends or anything different. 
Okay, this is weird. Okay, this is a different. They're showing me something different here uh, than I usually um, usually see. Okay. All right. Um. So the two the fifty day moving average on the weekly charge is unidentified, and the two hundred moving day average is also un, unidentified. Unbelievable. And the SAR is a is a sell actually on the weekly chart, so that means it just hit a buy today most likely. Okay. Um. Wow. Okay. So we don't have anything to go really go by. Um. On the weekly charts, there is resistance here at around thirty three range, thirty three, thirty three five. Uh. There is another resistance here at about thirty five, and then there's a resistance here at about thirty thirty seven point five. Okay. So those are a couple of resistance there. Not not major ones. But um, the ones to look at, um, and then of course the SARS at 38, which it, which is a um, good place to, to to come up from 31 to hit that. Okay, um, so let's see if the MACD is doing anything different. Okay, the MACD doesn't even is there is what in the world? There's no MACD for the weekly charts on the, on PayPal. Okay, <laughs> this is weird. Um, the RSI 14 is at 40.74. Okay. So let's go back to the daily charts then, and let's see if this is a buy or sell. Okay, so if you go back to about um, August, uh, to t August twenty fourth, you see that it hits uh, thirty dollars a share. Uh, if you go to Oct about almost uh, late September into October, you'll see that it hit almost thirty dollars a share, and then it started to explode up. Okay, so here it um here it almost hit thirty dollars a share well it did hit thirty it hit about thirty thirty point fifty two right uh somewhere around there so if uh back here in August it hit thirty and exploded right here in about October it hit thirty and exploded here it hit about thirty uh fifty two what do you think it's gonna do <laughs> uh, so uh i just knowing that trend. Uh, and um, seeing what's going on, there is resist massive resistance here at um, with the 50-day moving average at 34.65. But we're at, but we're here at the close of 31.38. So hey, three dollars or three dollars if it comes up three bucks, that's a good that's a good share. Even if it comes up a dollar fifty, okay. Uh, you know that's good money if you've got 10 10 15 20 grand in it okay so that comes up a dollar 50 that's good money uh, quick money too so just looking at the chart and the macd's coming up to a to a nice zero i give um paypal a buy sign a buy signal excuse me and um uh, and if you can get anything down here around 30 dollars a range Thirty dollars to thirty-one dollars, uh, anywhere between that. If you can get anything from thirty fifty-two, uh, or even lower, if it can go lower, it, it might it might get you a nice bounce and then come right back up. But if you can get anything between thirty thirty-one dollar range to thirty thirty dollar range, and that would be a great buy. And then you take it up to see if you can challenge the fifty-day moving average at thirty-four. Okay. So PayPal is a buy at around thirty to thirty-one dollars a share. Okay, so that is the buy and sell, and it's PayPal. I'll hopefully I'll check up on it later and see well, how's it doing. How's it doing? Um. Okay, so let's move on here and let me bring up some other stuff here, real quick, and let me bring this up as well. See if we can check some uh, what's going on around the world. Um, so let me check the trending topics first. Let's see here. Um, hmm, uh, Alaska senator says only women showed up for Senate session after blizzard. Wow. So men don't care really what's going on in Alaska, huh? Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, South Fiery. A safari, okay, okay, that, that must be something. Okay, safari says bug causing web browser. Okay, that's safari, the, the web browser for um, Apple. Uh, safari web browser to crash has been fixed, Apple says. Okay, thank you, Apple. <laughs> um, Firefox uh, releases new update for desktop and mobile browsing. Okay, and I remember they were doing a massive funding campaign uh, early in the year. 
and no one complained about them. Man, everybody gave money to them. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Um, Pokemon. Let's see, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. New footage release from upcoming Nintendo game release. Okay, I don't know nothing about Pokemon, but okay, <laughs> that's fine. Um, uh, some of you guys know about Pokemon, so that's cool. Iran opens new chapter in European ties. Boy, they're they're flying around. The the, the president Rouhani has just been flying around the world, ain't he? Making deals everywhere, just flying, and he's just a happy man. They about to restructure that currency and uh, come back and get back on the global market. You know they got a um, you know they they they're reconnected on the Swift on the thirty first. Okay, so let's see if the banks start to sell the real um on February first or into the, the first week of February. Uh, to see if the exchange stores and the banks get start to sell it. Okay, and at what price? Um. Hopefully at three thirty. Hopefully at four thousand to one or thirty or three thousand to one, and that will give some of us some relief. Okay, we can go take some of our bank notes and uh and 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 sell it for you know at, at that price, um, and get some relief. Um, but or we can put it on eBay or something like that. Um, or if they come out at thirty thousand to one, then you can uh, go to the bank, local banks, and uh, if they have it, you can get it and do what you have to do and. Sell it on sell it uh, on the market rate, uh, which is dropping because the price the real is actually going is actually losing value to the dollar. So eBay prices are coming down. You see them now; they're about one twenty. They used to be at one fifty nine, about one fifty nine, one sixty for per million. Now they're down to one twenty one. I mean, it's ridiculous now because the price the real is going. It's not gaining value; it's going the other way for some reason. Um, Okay, so it's Iraq unknown, no, unknown knowns. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Okay, Iraq unknown knowns embarrass Rumsfeld. Okay, I have no clue what that's about. <laughs> uh, Oregon, uh, Oregon militia should keep color heads. Some, that, okay, something's going on with that Oregon stuff, man, with the federal buildings, the Oregon, the Bundy ranches and all that stuff. I don't know. Uh, Iran, Iran's uh, warns U.S. warship of drill area. Okay, let's see. Four soldiers killed in Southeast Turkey clash. Uh, American uh, cynical about future polls. Okay. Um, bomb kills five Egyptian soldiers in Sinia. France minister uh, quits over terrorism bill. Wow, France minister quits over terrorism bill. So what? You you want terrorism? <laughs> you won't sign the bill to stop terrorism. You want terrorism? Is that what you're saying? Um, that's kind of weird. Uh, Kanye West and Wiz Khalifa uh, rappers uh, exchange insults in series of photos uh, on social media. I heard about stuff like that. Something I don't know what's going on, but I did see it on Yahoo, and I was like, "What in the world's going on?" So they're going back and forth about something. Who knows? It's probably about nothing. Uh, <laughs> um, this is Pablo Escobar. A worker finds a safe hidden under um, under late Colombian drug traffickers a former Miami mansion. Oh wow. Um, Let's see. Little Kim. Oh wow, I ain't, I ain't heard about I ain't heard from Little Kim in a long time. The rapper Little Kim uh fans responds to alleged edited images of rapper from Philadelphia concert. Oh boy, there's a lot of photoshopping going on there. Trying to stay young, right? <laughs> Trying to stay young. Um Let's see, Troy Aikman says an ex-NFL quarterback says he believes Robert Griffin or Johnny Manziel would join the Cowboys. Oh wow. Um let's see. Is there anything else? Uh CJ Anderson, Denver Broncos running back, shares the emotional words uh told to him by Tom Brady. Oh, that's awesome. Tom Brady giving out emotional words. I mean when you win when you when you win how many how many uh Super Bowls Tom Brady have? Four or five? Super Bowl wins, I mean. I mean he's been in Super Bowl like what, six times? 
He's lost four. He's lost two. He's won four. When you've been in Super Bowl six times, I mean, what else can you say about, to people? But you know, good things like, hey man, go do your thing. You know, it's going to be a hard task for the Denver Broncos, though. They do have to play uh, the the you know the dab you know you know dab dab city. <laughs> <laughs> Dab City to Carolina Panthers. That's going to be – Carolina will probably be heavily favored in this game, um, and they're probably going to try to come out early and and, and uh, put Denver away quickly um, like they've been doing everybody else. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see if Peyton Manning can handle that. Um, it says, Refugee murders a 22-year-old Scottish uh, – oh, no, Swedish woman with a knife attack. Oh, my goodness gracious. Refugees, the you know they're coming in on purpose, right? They were coming. They, they it was a planned thing to do, and now you're going to see the violence skyrocket, okay? As they're going to now use knives and guns and all types of stuff and just start killing people that live in that were having a good old look. Look, imagine imagine you're in Sweden, right? And you're having a good old time. You're enjoying your life. Your 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 country's beautiful. And then all of a sudden, you look to your right and you see about fifty thousand refugees coming across the border. And they're about to come into your land, create their own, uh, you know, uh, cultures and, and things like that, ruin your cultures, okay? And then they're going to start to uh, use knives and violence to kill you and rob you and rape you. And that's I, and that, and I'm, we're not talking about all the refugees. We're talking about the the the, the ten percent that the, you know, which make it bad for the other refugees that are really good people, right? So. You know, it's the same thing in all cultures. Ten percent of it uh, makes the rest of everybody look bad, right? So, you know, and this is what we have here. You got a refugee stabbing and killing a twenty-two-year-old beautiful woman. Um, you know, that was just relaxing. Just a year, just a couple of months ago, she was just relaxing, and there was no refugees in the country. Now, in this over what, uh, uh, you know, fifty, sixty, a hundred thousand refugees in their country demanding all types of things. You know, I mean, that it's, it's hard to, um, same thing's going to happen. It's happening here in America. They're sneaking them in here in America and, and they're letting us know about some of them, right? They're sneaking in most of them, but they're letting us know, okay, well, 5,000 came in South Carolina today. Oh, well, you know, and then they sneak in about to 40,000. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, you can tell us that they're all coming in, man. You don't have to sneak them in. Just tell us that they're coming in. What are we going to do to you? What are we going to do to the government? You know what I'm saying? Like, why do you have to? Why do you have to sneak them in? Just tell them to tell us, like, like Europe told their people, hey, they're coming in. Okay, why don't you tell the American people the same thing? They're coming in. What are we gonna do? You know, we're we 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 the the best thing we can do is go up there uh, to the borders or to the um, lands where they're coming in and greet them with open arms and and spread the love of Jesus Christ for them. Right? That's and I think that's why they don't want to tell us about them. A lot of them. Because they know Christians will be at the borders. They know Christ followers and God people will be at the at those areas and they'll greet them with pleasure and they'll greet them with love. And the, I don't think the government wants that. I think the government wants to sneak them in and say, hey, these guys hate you. Uh, look at the news uh, and go after them. You know what I mean? And create and that that creates the, the, the chaos. OK, but if. Um, if if they told us about them, we come up there and we'll greet them. We'll we'll show them love. We'll we'll say you guys need anything. We'll you know here's some blankets, here's some stuff, and they'll be like, wow, man, these people are good people, man. They they lied to us, you see, and uh, about what it was gonna be like over here. So that's why they they want to sneak a lot of them in because they want at least uh, they want majority of them to think that we hate them, uh, you know, and we don't want them here. And so they're gonna tell them, hey, man, they don't want you. Go attack them. Like take their money, take their stuff. You know what I mean? It's your make it your country. You know, instead of instead of greeting them, like, all right, man, we're we're, we're gonna show you guys love, man. Um, you guys are here. All right. Um, let's see. It says is China about to drop a devaluation bomb? They've already done that, bro. They've already dropped the devaluation bomb on us like a hundred times, man. Um, let's see. Mainstream media economists mock cash hoarding. Canadian savers, okay, um, with 1.6 billion monthly active users, here is YouTube, uh, Here is Facebook's quarter and year of charts, you know, Facebook's trending up, matter of fact, let me go to Facebook and see what's going on with the stock, because I did talk about it the other day, anything good, 
Oh, it was down to my negative 2.94 percent and it's right as it's, it's coming up on that 200 moving day average and that's where I would want to buy right on the 200 day moving average I would want to buy about $92 uh, a share on Facebook if that's what you should and take it straight back up to about over here to about a hundred all right make about eight percent eight 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 um eight dollars a share gain on that and I'm pretty sure that's what I told everybody to do um I said I think I said it was a sell I have no clue I can't remember um but anyways uh that's what I would do. I'll buy it at 90. If you have money, you buy it at 92 and take it up back out to about 98, 97, 96 and make some money. Okay. Um, I think that's it, man. It's uh, almost it's about 25 minutes of talking, so I think I'm done. Um, so let's do some positive thinking and let's get out of here. All right. So um, which ones do you want to do today, though? Um, let me see. Let me see if there's actually something that we can do here. Uh, maybe I do some positive quotes instead. Let me see. Positive quotes. Let's see if anything pops up and we can do some positive quotes instead. Okay, it says 10 positive quotes. Okay, so let's see what they are. Um, okay, it says yesterday is not ours to recover, but tomorrow is ours to win or to lose. Okay. Let's see. Keep your faith, keep your faith, not your faith, but your face <laughs> to the sunshine and you cannot see a shadow. Helen Keller. Okay. This one says, in order to carry a positive action, we must develop here a positive vision. All right. This one says, uh, positive thing, positive anything is better than negative nothing, right? So positive thinking all the time. Um, find a place inside where there's joy and the joy will burn out the pain. Yep. Correction does much, but encouragement does more. Right. You're going to go through tough times. That's life. But I say nothing happens to you. It happens for you. See the positive and negative events. Gotcha. Okay, this one says, no matter what you're going through, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, and it may seem hard to get to it, but you can do it, and just keep working towards it, and you'll find the positive side of things. That's a good one. Um, this one says, once you replace negative thoughts with positive ones, you'll start having positive results. Willie Nelson. Okay. This one says, uh, when you wake up every day, you have two choices. You can either be positive or negative, an optimistic and pest or, or a pessimist. Uh, I choose to be opt an optimist. Uh, it's all a matter of perspective. Okay. There you go. So that's some positive thinking, some positive flow. And I am successful. I am blessed. I am wealthy. I am I am favored. I I am I am joyful in the Lord Jesus Christ, who gives me strength and keeps me. All right. So there you have a currency three sixty five empowered by Eyes Open Media, and that was Eyes Open News Report. PayPal is a buy. Uh, I would get it around about thirty. 30, 30, 31 dollars a share. If it goes to twenty nine, I'll be even better. Uh, but thirty, thirty one, I'll get it, and I'll, you know, and I get it up. And Facebook, I, I didn't go, I didn't go over Facebook today, but Facebook around twenty nine. I mean, now ninety two dollars a share will be a great buy as well, right at the two hundred moving day. All right, so I'm out. Peace, salute, eyes open.